I sat beside this piece during the podcast, and I kept on looking at it. And when you study this piece, there's something going on in every corner that's unexpected. So aside from loving the colors, I probably coordinate pretty well with the colors. Um, the whimsy, uh, the lunar, the pointillism, the colors. It's the kind of thing I would move into my home, but I'd have to make more wall space. So what was there, um, an element of the piece that caught your eye first? Well, these, these serpents are not just plants. It's like they're serpents and they're, they're spewing out stuff. There's, maybe it's just a long tongue. I'm not sure. I'd have to confer with the artist. Um, and I'm a cactus lover, so I would see the suero cacti in this, these branches. There's just, there are details in, in each object, in each corner, you know, that make you want to love it. There could be faces in here. They're, the they're like oceans the, almost. The, um, the, the sort of between three dimensional and two dimensional, was that interesting at all to you? Like the fact that it's a relief as opposed to a painting or? It, I'm so attracted to something like this that the fact that it wasn't a two dimensional piece didn't even phase me. So I loved the three dimensionality of it. Um, the, uh, yeah, there's, I think there's wood in here, there's stones in here. There are faces in here. There's just a lot, and the color's gorgeous. Um, so no, the frame, that it's wonderful to see a frame that really reflects what's within it. And not many artists do that. So I like that a lot. <laughs>